hustle and double without being? Oh, we we got them. We gonna make a contract where they 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 we're the beneficiaries. If something happened to them, their whole estate goes to us. Get rid of these niggas and then all the money comes. They cashing out, bro. So look, yeah. so so so, uh, Tupac, I ain't mad at you. Video, he was dead. Biggie yeah. was dead by his second album. Nipsey yeah. was dead when his album that. came out. She uh, was spooky when it came out. Yeah. Uh. 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 What's your McCall? That shit is spooky. Yeah. Pop Smoke was dead when his album came out. Who's that? Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. Yeah, his album. He was dead he when his album. Double. He already went double real quick. Crazy. You see that? It's crazy. They're not even here to enjoy their success with their family, their kids, nothing. It's all shut up, son. It's all shut up. But wow. you know, it's all, it's all, it's all according to the prophecies, man. Real quick, real quick. We told y'all that uh, there was going to be uproars around the world, right? And that's like signs of his coming. Check. Look at look at France. Look at all of them countries over there wilding out against their government. Matter of fact, it said there's going to be sedition among men, and they're going to be invading each other, and they are not going to regard their kings or princes. What is kings and princes when you read that in the Bible? King is presidents, rulers. And then you got the, the, the princes, the, the, gov the, the, the uh, senators, the governors, the mayors. The, the smaller rulers, okay? Didn't they just raid the capital? That's mm -hmm. check, right? You see, the, you see earthquakes in diverse places. There was earthquakes in Brooklyn, Jersey, where there's not <laughs> normally an earthquake. Check. Um, you, there was famine. I seen them chasing the um the sanitation truck in Venezuela. These niggas out here is hungry too. <laughs> check. They said it's gonna be. It, it has gone on. Uh, a man shall rifle your house with the sword in the lap. In, in, during the tribulation because of the lack of bread and, and spoil your goods. That means there's going to be armed robberies in your house, home invasions. You see that right now in Brooklyn, in New York, Queens. Check. You, there's going to be pestilence. What's the COVID-19? Pestilence. What pestilence means? Diseases. Check. Like, you want me to keep going? <laughs> I told you the check was coming, right? I told you, look, the money is going to go digital right now. Bitcoin is next, and then it's going to be the microchip. They're already getting you used to swiping. You ain't got to go in your pocket no more. You just got to swipe. Swipe this, swipe that. All of the technology is leading towards you swiping. Then it's going to be your hand, okay? You swiping a card right now, but it's going to be your hand in a second, okay? You don't see the, okay, check. I told you that. It said, uh, Solomon said 3,000 years ago, the grinding is going to cease. We talking about we grinding today. Yo, son, I'm grinding, son. I'm on my grind. He said, the grinding shall cease. All the doors will be shut in the streets. All the businesses are shut down, right? Check. Come on, bro. You want me to keep going? The missiles, the nuclear missiles, the World War III. You don't see that? The wars and rumors of war. Kim Jong-un stayed beefing with America, threatening them. That's rumors of war. Mm. They threatening to bomb Syria and Iran right now. Matter of fact, they bombing Syria. Wars and rumors of war. Check. You want me to keep going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me keep going, matter of fact. Because after that, it said, and these are the beginning of sorrows. That's Matthew, only Matthew 24, 6 and 7. Before... Yahweh shall come and get us. It's the mark of the beast, the microchip. And they hitting that button, letting the missiles go. Before Yahweh shall come and get us. It's the mark of the beast, the microchip. And they hitting that button, letting the missiles go. Inspired by Jehovah, feast on the sun, leaven, bread, and death should pass you over. The fire thing got the ghetto in the death hole. You better lace the lamb's blood on your threshold. I'm all springs for the vet soul. Yahweh shall come and get us. It's the mark of the beast, the microchip. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Hakwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also a sincere shalom to you other Achim, you brothers, you few sisters and, and many of you who follow uh, this this true doctrine. Okay. So I accidentally erased the last uh, uh, commentator I did so I have to do it over. So maybe that's the way the Lord wanted it to go. But um, I'll try to remember as much as possible. Okay, I'm going into this um, 
uh, rapper um, Shabazz the Disciple who was home of the original rap okay and um, you know you get generations and each generation say well they they're better or they're worse or whatever but we can see as prophets that this this generation is definitely um, of Satan okay and the younger generation that's in the truth the younger brothers that's in the truth are not okay but we're, we're, when we say this generation we even talking about these uh, the old bottles you know <laughs> they're all part of it too they're all in support of it you know but I'm going into the rap the rap and let's say even the music okay even uh, um, the entertainers the athletes I mean uh, uh, today the athletes are much more agile and athletic as years ago they were more masculine and strong right but these uh, these Lannisters as what I found in the uh, what they call in the Roman Empire the trainers they found out that if you keep putting these uh, athletes in tough situations, they're going to hurt themselves and we can't keep the, the, the show going. So they made the, the, the game and the sports a whole lot softer, more effeminate, which brings me to the truth, which, which brings me to this rap. They made that a whole lot more aggressive. <laughs> right? Now it's a voice box and shooting and killing each other. You know? So they made that that much more aggressive which brings me to um, what Shabazz the disciple was talking about and I don't want to touch on that too much about the music industry that's what this was all about that's his platform right uh, and I'll get a scripture that he could even went further on I mean he was just quoting so I, I, I didn't expect him to uh, go further in, in, in the, uh, the book of Ecclesiastes the 12th chapter but um, he was going into um, how the uh, a lot of entertainers who died and um, they became more wealthy after dying or they made more money off of them after they have died and because they own the the, uh, the rulers of darkness let me say that the ones that own Hollywood and the, the music industry they're the ones that capitalize off of someone's death with the insurance. When you sign your name in blood, that's exactly what it is. So they went into how Biggie died and they made more money off of his death. Tupac um, and various other artists. You, they, what they haven't mentioned was, uh, I believe this guy, Juice World or whatever, he died. And, after, and, they, and the album comes out after he died. But I could go back in history not too long ago. Um, a few, some years back Michael Jackson died and guess what they made more money they made a lot of money off of him off of his death and a family has to fight for the rights and, and get paid it's what it is uh, Prince the same way anybody older knows who these artists are right so when we say who the devil of the Bible really is it's what it is <laughs> and you people who can't see it then you just can't see it live in your hell be that frog that boils in the water and, and cook to death you know let's go to Luke 12 and 2 it says, it says for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed neither hid that shall not be uh, known right so this man Shabazz the disciple is that disciple of reputation he knows and I went to his channel and he's got some videos up and some um, some uh, some music up some, some his, his albums up and guess what he doesn't get recognized he doesn't get a lot of money he's not getting a lot of views off the music that he's doing he's not getting a lot of views this brings me to us as Great Millstone as he went into we're not going to get a lot of views. We're not going to get a whole lot of likes. You know why? Because ultimately, as other Israelite groups, they really don't want to get out of here. You know, this is why they say the mark of the beast is not the chip. They really want to stay here. This is why they say 
we don't have to worry about the time of Jacob's trouble. And then you have people who follow who don't want to go through the fear of the Lord. They want to go through the fear of men. That's the difference. We know the Lord works through men. And we always know in history how the Lord gets down, how the Most High gets down. The scriptures say that. But some, all of a sudden now, out of all the iniquity, the Most High is just going to have all this leniency. <laughs> You're not going to have to prove yourself. You're not going to have to worry about it. This is what Nate now you I see is saying. <clears throat> he went into how Aisha BK and these other groups label us as rapists. Nate, he's part of it. We're all rapists. Shabazz had to say, nah, man, if they was rapists, they'd be locked up. And Doggy Diamonds caught it, which he's getting some of the truth, too. It's like he knows. And a whole new platform. So no matter how much we can beat down this great millstone, the Lord shows us, you know, uh, the, uh, that our works is not going unrewarded. And we do, re we do know that it's only going to be the elect. We do know that. So the elect is a very, very small number. But everybody talking about this great Hebrew and Israelite awakening. Yes, it will be. But it's not going to be a lot of people who's going to make it. Many are called a few are chosen. Right? So he went into um, the uh, grinding shall cease. So let's get that. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. And the day when the keepers of the house shall be tremble, shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, right? Because there are few, no jobs, and those that look out the windows be darkened, right? You know how uh, in a great, great American dream, you look, got up in the morning, you opened the windows, you saw the bright sun, and you knew you was going to go to work, you was going to bring home a certain amount per week, you was going to go to McDonald's, and <laughs> you was going to go roller skating, Go into the nearest shop and get your ice cream. You know, buy your new fresh car. Well, all that's going to... That's representing the darkness of, of unemployment, hardships, right? And the doors uh, uh, and the doors shall be shut in the streets and the sound of the grinding is low, no jobs. And he shall rise up the voice of the bird, Right? It says, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. This happened in Rome. You know, same thing. Same thing. Same thing when at, at, at this stage of the game, when they, they're watering down sports, they're, it's all an act. They're, they're trying to keep the, uh, the uh, so-called blacks and natives, keep them healthy. See, we can't keep beating up these, uh, uh, letting them beat each other up on a football field. We can't keep letting them hurt each other on a basketball court. Because then they get hurt and we got to pay them. That's not going to do us no good. So let's change the game. Let's keep it competitive. Change the game. So we can keep the entertainment going and save a lot of money and keep the athletes healthy. It's, it's about business, slavery. And this went on in Rome. Same thing. As Rome started to fall, they try to keep their top athletes going. And that and that's what you see. You know, they changed the game. But they also changed, as I said, the rap game, as Shabazz was going into. Right? Making the rap game more dangerous. Basically, the rap game is uh inadvertently pulling the trigger. They're they're uh, programmed through the, through the media to uh, control your spirit. So you're not picking up the gun physically. Your spirit is doing it through the vibration of hip hop. Right? They've also changed the money. They're changing everything around you. You know the watered down money. <laughs> Everything watered down. And you jakes, as he went into, you jakes are doing, you know, you're selling out on that couch for money that's not real. Uh, was it uh, 2 Timothy or 1 Timothy 6, 17? Uh, don't trust in uncertain riches. Right? Let's go to Matthew 24, 
4 and 5 for many shall come in my name saying I am Christ right well there's a lot of people who have done that one is the, the God sent comforter well the most high didn't send him but uh, for to, to deter our people right as a false prophet remember the most high deals with false prophets too on the left hand side to do a job right that's why the scripture says didn't come to the wicked one and cast away that which is sown in his heart because there might be someone who gets it and then you might have these comforters and stuff set up to take it away what you learn right then you got guys that's calling on the name of Jesus Christ right calling on the name Jesus I know if I had my identity taken and I had it back and I had my picture with a different name on it I have a problem with that how much more does the most high you you recovered you reclaimed his identity as far as his image but the name you kept Jesus the Christ that is wicked right but we see there's sell people who sell out even in the Israelite uh, community it says and shall deceive many right and shall hear wars and rumors of wars seeing that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet you got these Israelite groups saying don't worry about it you, the Lord has got you that's, that's what they're saying that, that was, that's a Christian prosperity we always have to fear worry and fear uh, for the Lord when that time comes when the elect is known then no you already, you already know what's, what the deal is but in these times we don't know who the elect is you're supposed to be striving to be of the elect and you got guys that teach to fear men and not the Lord you know when you fear men you know when you fear men you're, you're, what you're doing is you're letting them tell you not to you know don't worry about it you know that's the fear of man when a man tells you don't worry he's putting that out there that I got you covered because that's what the Lord says don't worry I got you so you put your energy and your heart into a man when the Lord says different you're supposed to fear the Lord okay for a nation shall rise against nation kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrow so when he went into what he was saying it, he, he hit check 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 well we're coming further into those times it's going to get worse it's going to escalate from here you know this is why us at Great Millstone we set the standard of being prophets and all our videos pretty much deal with prophecy or correcting somebody on false doctrine which is part of prophecy correcting you when you go off you know the the the, uh, the shepherds, which which you would call a day like babysitters, <laughs> you know of the truth. We're the shepherds to watch the flock, to say, look, don't go there, don't go there. Just like the signs, the street signs, might say one way, or it might say, uh, do not enter. You know, that's what we have to do, and this is what we teach for the brothers and some of the sisters and the followers. Uh, but mainly, you know, the prophets. This is what we teach. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.